Hi, everyone. Hey. <laughs> it's Erlinda Vo, the energy alchemist, and I'm here with James and Hoffwagen. Hi, everyone. Uh, we're going to wait a minute, obviously, to see um, a few people to join us, uh, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, James is representing. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Here's my representation. <laughs> oh, wait, where's the camera? There you go. There go. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not everybody's partying too much that they can't join us. Oh, yay. Okay, good. We're just going to wait a minute for people to join us. Hi, everyone. Um, so while we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and just tell you some logistics. Uh, so first of all, uh, thank you so much for being here. And this is where we go live each week. Welcome, welcome uh, for the Get Rich Book Club. And today is all about chapter five. Uh, but just so you know, if you haven't reached out to text us, we would love to have you join our Money Mantra text messages. It's amazing and extraordinary. Uh, James, do you want to say anything about the text messages since that's kind of like one of the biggest breakthroughs we started having really quick as we get onto that and just people join us? Yeah, the, the the text message money mantras, they tend to pop up and and grab you when you least expect it. And that's exactly what they're designed to do. It's exactly what <clears throat> excuse me, what uh what the way it should be. And uh what I've found personally is that is that when I get that text message and I see it and I read it, I I like it gets me back into a frame of mind where I'm like, oh yeah, it's a great reminder. Uh, it's a great way to represent ourselves to what we're creating and what we want to get ourselves aligned with. And it's just a fantastic tool. If you don't have it yet, sign up for it. Just do it. It'll, it'll, you it's the best that. thing. Yeah. So what you do is you text GRBC, which stands for the Get Rich Book Club, to 33. Two two two. Hi, hi, people. Hi, Anna. Hi, Leslie. Say hello if you're on. We'd love to say hello. Um, okay, we're gonna get started. Hi, everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining us. We're so excited to be here. And as I mentioned before, this is chapter five. And um, let me just introduce myself. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm Erlinda Vo, the energy alchemist, and I'm all about transforming bad vibes into good ones. So um, this is an exciting chapter for me. It's all about holler at your heart, right? <laughs> um, James, introduce yourself so that we can get started with this because it's exciting. Yeah. yeah, thanks. So my name is James Van Hofwegen. I'm a realtor here in Chicago. I help people fulfill their dreams through real estate. Yay, welcome, welcome. Okay, so ready, let's start this thing. So if you guys were not on our last chapter, I'm going to do a quick recap, okay? So first of all, when you switch your thinking from there's no way, like there's no way to do something, to there must be a way, then you start to realize that the biggest obstacles that, that's been holding you back in life, making the kind of money you want, is really inside your own mind, okay? It's the mind. That's inside of best practices for busting yourself. Ooh, that was last week's chat. That was last week's chapter. So I'm just going to give you a little key points from last week's chapter so that you can just kind of get here today present with us, okay? Yes, 33222 is the text message number that you want to text message, and all you have to do is text message GRBC, okay, which stands for the Get Rich Book Club. So, okay, you guys, here's what we want to do. The the couple things that you we talked about last week was how do you unearth deep seated money repelling subconscious beliefs? Anybody have any of those out there? Hello. <laughs> Anybody have any limiting beliefs out there? So some of the things you want to do is you want to one, you want to bum rush your fears, something like an action that makes you feel like you're going to puke and you you think about that action and you feel like, oh, my God, everything in your being just wants to puke. Well, do it anyways. OK, that's one way to bum, bum rush your fears. The second thing is watch your mouth. So your word creates your world. OK, and in the book, in chapter four, she talks about a lot of different phrases that you can replace things with. OK, so take a look at that. And then another thing she talks about is shut up even more. 
So if, and when we're not just talking about what you're speaking out loud, okay? Yes, that is very important. What you say out loud to people because your word creates a world, but it's also about what you say to your, in your own mind. Okay, what are you saying to yourself? Are you saying, oh my God, life can't be this good. Oh, wait, is the shoe gonna drop now? Oh my gosh, I don't wanna jinx it. All of those I've heard in the last two weeks. <laughs> it's like, if I think great things, I'm gonna jinx it or wait, 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 you know, like <gasps> this can't be happening, right? <laughs> so you guys keep looking and shut that monkey mind up and start to really pay attention to your words. So listen to your intuition, okay? You want to make sure that you're listening to what is going on in your intuition, that little still voice. Okay. And one more thing. You want to have your dreams more than you want your drama. <laughs> Any drama queens out there? Hello. I know I am. Oh, James is too. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I do have my green. It's right here. <laughs> That's going to be. <laughs> Anyways. Oh my, yes, lots of hidden beliefs that have been coming up this week, absolutely. And you guys, keep hanging out with us because people are producing some major results, you guys. I am, huge it's, results. yeah, huge results. In fact, I just wanna share really quick, uh, James, before you ask him to do something to drop a little note. Um, I am sitting in one of the lounges at JFK Airport on my way to go to Prague. And um, this would not have happened I mean, literally, this was kind of something that kind of got created inside the book club. I would have never thought I could do this. You know how I was talking about in chapter four when she says to find something that you like take an action or something that makes you feel like you're going to puke. Well, this is it. It's like traveling internationally by myself. Like this whole thing just would never have happened had I not been in this conversation around people who are up to something. OK, so before you tell them what to do, James, in a second, I just want to remind us that the specific intention of the Get Rich Book Club is to align your energy with what you are creating for your own income, wealth and abundance. And I want to remind you, abundance is everything. Abundance of health, abundance of love, romance, sex, abundance of joy, right? Um, so abundance of friends, so all of that stuff, abundance includes all of it, okay? We just happen to be focusing on, on financial abundance in the moment, but you can apply these principles to all of the areas of abundance. So James, what do you wanna ask these guys to do? Well, we want to make sure that everybody here is committed to their dreams more than their drama, right? So I don't know if, if everybody that was watching when, you, when Erlinda asked, if you're a drama queen or not, I know I raised my hand. If you're if you're sitting there watching and you raised your hand, even if you didn't raise your hand, I want you to, to take a minute right now and in the comments, drop us a note, say, I desire my dreams more than I desire my drama. Mm. I desire my dreams more than I desire my drama. It doesn't mean you have to give up your drama, right? I like being a drama king every once in a while but I am more committed to having my dreams than my drama, right? Right. And I'm more committed to having a community who are out to create their dreams instead of complain and, you know, use each other for drama. Clear? Yes, yes. So we'll just take a second, you guys, write down below. I desire my dreams more than I desire my drama. Okay. Yeah. So are we ready to dig into chapter five, guys? We want to we want to start seeing those comments come through. I deserve my dreams more than I deserve my drama. Go ahead and do that now. Uh, while you're doing that, we're going to get into chapter five: the hollering of your heart. Okay. So um, this is where this this chapter is is where we start to kind of true ourselves up to what's in here, right? So, um, and, and one of the main premises of this chapter is that in order to become rich, you must connect your, you, you must connect your desire for money with the passion of a goat who wants in off the porch. <laughs> okay. So guys have no idea what James is talking about. It means you haven't read the chapter. So make sure you read this chapter. So share the little story, just a short little note about it, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you, Anna, for, uh, for dropping that note in the, in the comments. 
I desire my dreams more than I desire my drama. It's a, it's a key thing. Um, <clears throat> so did you just put sunglasses on? I can't see. Wow, she is smiling over there, you guys. Look at that. She's <laughs> too cool. <laughs> this is what yeah. happens when you're when the Get Rich Book Club is working for you. You start to go on <laughs> Facebook Live and do do book club with sunglasses on because literally your future is too bright. You have to wear shades. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All this right. is great. Don't make me self conscious. Right. Go. <laughs> <laughs> too fabulous. All right, so. Um, <laughs> Got to connect your desire for money with the passion of a goat who wants in off the porch, right? So um, in the beginning of the chapter, she shares this uh, story about uh, when she was writing, when Jen Sincero was writing the first You Are a Badass book, which has the yellow cover, not the green cover, like what we have. It's kind of a matching theme this week, wouldn't you say? <laughs> All right. So, um, so she's in. Uh, she was staying in, on a farm in Northern California. She was writing the book, right? She had uh, uh, she had to take care of these two goats and a horse, and uh, and usually, you know, they would all go around together, and and uh, and the the goats every so often would try to, you know, pound on the door to to get in, and uh, and then she she went somewhere, came back, heard the, the pounding on the door, and she realized that the goats weren't trying to get in. They were trying to come out from the house. And when she walked in, the house was destroyed. Destroyed. Like they had knocked stuff off shelves and, and broken stuff and torn, eaten, excrement all over the place it was nasty it was nasty so um but but the therein lies the distinction that um these goats were doing exactly what they were meant to do like goats are meant to do that they're meant to like that's what they do as goats they go and they eat stuff and they you know trample all over stuff and whatever goats do right goats got to do whatever goats got to do and the horse has got to do whatever the horse has to do. Has to do. And uh, you know, I think at one point she says the guy in the in the coffee shop sitting next to her has to eat granola with his fingers, just because that's what he has to do, right? So uh, in that same line, right? Um, if you were a goat and you got in the house and you just right, you don't know what thousand count uh, thousand count uh, what am I trying to say? Thousand count I, bed sheets. Oh, thread, thread count. Thread count. Thread, thread count. <laughs> thousand, whatever. You guys get what I'm saying. If you it goats, it goats have no idea what that is, right? So there, it could just as easily be grass or leaves or who cares, right? It could be newspaper. They, to them, they're goats. They don't care, right? <laughs> they're just doing what they're instinctually, what they instinctually know how to do. So for each of us, we, we each have something like that for us, right? We each have a, a thing that we're, that, that we're driven to do naturally. We're compelled, right? You may not understand why, you may, might, it doesn't even matter, you guys. But whatever that is for you, figure out what that is and then get yourself trued up to it, right? Identify it, hone in on it, and then connect that with the desire to, to, to manifest the money, the, the abundance, the wealth that you, that you desire, and stuff will start to shift, Yeah. right? Like Linda's taking this trip. She got trued up to, to what her desires are, right? Stuff started to shift. Do you have anything you want to say about that, Linda? Yeah, I just want to uh, say that your doubts, fears, and other people's rules on you ha are no match for a heart on a mission. Okay, so when your heart is on a mission, it's like nothing's stopping it. 
okay? So let's just, before we kind of get into a little bit more content, I want you guys to just take a moment and find your heartbeat. You know, this is about the hollering of the heart. So we got to, you know, feel the heartbeat. Now, it might take you just like 30 seconds to find your heartbeat, but just go ahead and look, look and see if you can find your heartbeat. If you can't. <laughs> you have no heart, James. <laughs> find the it. The were true. <laughs> This chapter is all about listening to the hollering of your heart. So you want to get clear on your why. Because just wanting to get rich isn't going to cut it. Why do you desire it? So find your heartbeat. Did you find yours, James? Yeah, it's there, finally. Good. I think my <laughs> adrenaline's a little bit kicked in, so it's kind of pounding. <laughs> okay, so you guys, yeah, just, just take a moment, get connected to your heart, okay? So get clear on your why, because just because you want to be rich doesn't mean you're going to be rich, okay? It doesn't cut it. So why do you desire this money? What will you spend it on? How will it make you feel to spend it? Bask in the manifestation of your why. So I'll start with mine, because I kind of, when I was looking at this, there was some interesting stuff came up, because when I did it in the beginning, in the first round of the beta test, I... Um, I was kind of like, oh my God, all the things that I wanted money to buy, right? Like I was like, oh my God, the new clothes that I could have, the the objects, the material objects, right? And, um, but it's funny because I said those things last. I was like, okay, I want to make a difference. I want to, you know, like, because as a spiritual person, I can definitely not want all that stuff right off the bat, right? It's like, no, no, no I have to say all the good stuff first and then say all the material stuff, right? Interesting how my brain pattern was. Notice where yours are, okay? So I was looking at it, this this question this time around, and I was like, oh my God. So when I'm doing an energy session on somebody, all the stuff I have going on in my mind disappears, and I'm completely focused on what I'm doing for them. There's this peaceful experience, and that's why I want to be rich, okay? That's my why. The experience of being able to fully be present in the moment with somebody else, right? Supporting somebody else or even myself, just being present in all of the experiences, like being present in the moment now, being present in the moment, you know, in a little while when I'm on my seven hour flight, right? I, I have all my attention on being of service. And so my life is starting to shift because it was all about like this rat race or like this hamster wheel to kind of like, go, 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 go get it. Right. And now it's like, you know, what my desire is different. You know, it's, it's, it is the same. I like nice things. Don't get me wrong. I like labels. I like really great things, right. Material stuff. But there was something different about the question this time. It was like, what's there is like a profound peace. And what the Get Rich Book Club is for, right? The Get Rich Book Club's mission really is contribution and community. So this just started to shift. And I'm noticing that my my voice shifting a little bit, my my body and the cells, and it's it's like I'm starting to transform. Like when your game is all about survival, right? And then all of a sudden I paid off my credit cards. Like, it's like, oh, I have a new game. So the new game is anytime I put money on my credit card, how do I pay it off before it reports to my credit? So that's like a whole new game, right? It's like my my game changed in my in the world. I have this new found of peace and, and I feel different. And um, it's a little uh, shocking. So you wanna kind of start to get in, in touch with your desire for money, right? And I want I wanna say this one more point. Um, this is, I'll speak on my behalf, but I'm sure there's a few other people out there who have this thought. But there was like comfort in my complaints. I got really clear about that. It is very easy for me to relate to people, right? When, when it's really easy for me to relate to people when we're complaining, okay? It is very uncomfortable to start to have money when people around you don't. Do I need to repeat that? I think that's why, James, a long time ago, you started talking about like, oh my God, I want to create this community because I want my friends and my family yeah. to be able to be in the conversation around it. And what I got is like, I've been so comfortable in my complaints. 
right? And I have my group of people that I complain to all the time and it's comfortable there. And so you have to get uncomfortable. You have to be willing to have the nice things when some people around you may not. You have to be in the uncomfortable feeling when you start to, you know, make all this money or get a really huge job offer, right? You have to be comfortable that people around you may not know you as that, right? You can desire beautiful things. You can afford beautiful things. And it's a whole mindset shift. But guess what? We're here weekly. We're doing this, right? We're lifting the, we're building the muscle. We're changing the mindset, right? And, you know, we're creating a community to celebrate the successes. And then just, you guys know me, but, you know, part of my mission is to vibe up the planet. Um, and all that means really is when you vibe up your own energy, right? You Others around you have a chance to vibe up and you don't contribute to the mass of stuff already existing out there, right? Uh, so that's kind of like what I got really clear on. And um, I'm interested to know the woman that I'm becoming because I'm really clear it's a becomingness. It's a total different person here. If I, I just look at the what was last week and the week before and I'm seeing my own evolution. So I'm really getting fully into my why. So thank you for this. Um, James, why don't you share? Or do you that have was, a thought? Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> no, I, no, everything you said was gold. It, it's, it's absolute gold. I mean, um, so your, your why is to be of service, right? My why is a little bit more selfish, um, not in a bad way, but just more of a, a specific to what I want or what, what my desire is. And uh, what I saw for myself was that um, my desire for money is centered around creating a family. And so when I saw that, <clears throat> I went, <laughs> first I went, okay, well, first I'll get the money, mm -hmm. then I'll find the person to have the family with, and then, right, and it'll be linear, like check the box, check the box, check the box, right? Mm -hmm. um, and what I saw was that <clears throat> my energy or, or my concept by, by blocking off any part of my desire, right? So, so in other words, by checking one box at a time, I was essentially blocking the energy of fulfilling all of it. Um, so I, I said, all right, well, let's, you know, maybe the person comes first and then maybe you know, then maybe the family comes and then maybe the money comes, but you know, however it is, it'll just, it'll flow and it'll work. And when I, when I gave up the, the sense of having to control which box got checked when, uh, <laughs> the results, the results are, are pretty impressive. Um, I'm not going to get into too many of the specifics, but uh, but things, things, things shifted in an unimaginable way, right? Oh, um, um, can I jump in here really quick, James? It's it's yeah. amazing what you're sharing because um, you this is like this is the perfect note to put in right now. Exactly what you were sharing is that you know first of all it's like a surrender to the universe. It's like okay, we're co-creating. I don't have to like wait. A needs to happen first, then B, right? So there's two points I want to make right here really quick, which is one, it doesn't matter what your what your why is, okay? It could be selfish as all heck because that's all relative to whatever, right? So you do what you do you because that's going to empower you. That's your life. So I want you to notice when those words come up, right? Like selfish and like, Oh my gosh, I like just got a really nice purse and I call it my new money bag, right? Show and um, no. No. <laughs> oh, <five teams. laughs> okay, so here's my new money Show bag. The money bag. <laughs> I can't Make sure it's in center. Yep. Woo! Yeah, look at that. Woo! <laughs> it's a beautiful bag. And um, I remember like we tend to want to like 
hide out or like think it's bad to be selfish or desire things for ourselves. But no, you guys, that's a part of it. If it makes you happy and it makes you grateful and it increases your frequency, then by all means, create whatever you want. Get connected to that why though, right? So James, the other point I wanted to make, which is really important, which is exactly what you just said and what you just did was don't share things with everybody. Like this is a really great platform that we're offering here, but there's some things that James and I are working on in our personal lives and our, and just together too, is to, that we keep kind of a little bit closer to the chest. You want to give time for the universe to help you develop it, okay? And I also often relate it to like a seedling, like a plant seed, right? It's just popping through, right? It's come getting some sun. <laughs> Water it, right? Be kind to it. Keep it kind of small for now. And then once you kind of develop it and it grows, then you can share it with the world, okay? So I think keep it between you and the universe and, and you have to do the work. Yeah, real quick and an aside because a lot of people that we know uh, and a lot of our, a lot of the people probably watching this uh, have, have come to, to a frame of mind where, okay, when I want something, I just, I go and I tell everybody, right? And uh, the more people I tell, the more, the more likely it is that I get what I want. Um, and, and, guys, that's one frame of thought, right? That's, that's one way to do it. Um, and energetically that may not always work out. Well, it's actually, they're both go hand in hand. Okay. Right. Because like book club wouldn't exist had we not shared it, had we not got our team together right so so both are equally as important when you're i my personal opinion is that when you're starting off keep it a little more close to the chest keep it around people that you trust that you know will nurture it okay and then when ready you share and you share and you get support and you ask for help and you you just share your little hearts out right because it's the hollerings of the heart right <laughs> so it's like getting in touch with that nurturing it sun water you know self-care like getting your nails done right like all of that stuff and then sharing it yeah. yeah i have a good concrete example of this i don't know if anybody on this uh watching this this uh uh video watches shark tank if you watch shark tank there are two types of people that go on shark tank there are the people with the ideas that haven't launched and don't have any traction and then there are the people with the businesses that are already up and running that have traction, have sales, and have a track record of success and or failure, okay? What tends to happen to the people that go on Shark Tank with just a great idea or what they think is a great idea? I don't know, what happens? Mark Cuban usually chews them up, swallows them and spits them out, right? <laughs> Got it. Or, or one of the sharks does. And, um, and the people, but the people that go on that have a track record of, su of success, those are the people that, that, you know, that's when the sharks kind of lean in because there's something there. There, there are roots there that, that, uh, that people have established, right? They've tested the idea, right? So when we launched book club, we shared it with a, with a specific group of people right? We nurtured it. We planted the seed with a, with a, with a few people, nurtured it. We let it grow a little roots, right? Tested, tested the idea. The roots got a little bigger. And then we, then we set out and we, we shared it with a, a bunch of other people. And now we have more than 4,000 views every week. Jesus, uh, guys, that's a pretty big amount, right? So, but, but none of that may have actually come to fruition if we had just launched. Actually, when I first shared the idea, I had one person, um, well, well, think about how I invited you, James, when I shared Garage Book Club, what did you tell me? I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> so if you first get a first no, keep on trying, because <laughs> James wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for that. Um, but. I think the difference, and I don't watch Shark Tank, Jane, so you should, you know, correct me or not, but if, you know, those people who were successful were really specific, 
they, you know, they probably had the specifics outlined so that they can allow the universe to fulfill that order, right? They probably experience the emotions of what it would be like to be in front of them. You know, the no nonsense determination to do whatever it takes to reach their goal, including like the nurturing and then the exploration and setting it out there. So you guys, it, when you are looking at this, the, you know, some of you may be in a couple places. I know exactly what I'm up to. I know what my mission is, my why. And some of you may be like, I have no idea. For those of you who have no idea in this chapter, she does give a little section for you. So no more complaining about, you have no idea what your why is. No more, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, okay? She gives a little bit of examples to deal with that, okay? You guys, start getting really specific, okay? So one of the things that I wanted to share, because it's kind of funny, when I was in high school, um, I created a list of the guy I wanted to be with, right? So I made this huge long list and it was very specific, right? And um, when I say specific, you want to try to be as specific as you can. There was a big thing missing, which was his age. So I ended up meeting this guy who was 20 years older than me at the time. And I'm in high school, okay? And it was like, but he's like everything on the list. But I didn't say between the ages of, right, like this. So you want to get, so anyways, nonetheless, it didn't last very long. <laughs> very short little window of time. Um, but the point is, is that the universe needs you to be specific, okay? Be very specific and then let it go and then surrender, okay? And James is going to talk a little bit more about aligning with your truest self. Yeah, yeah, guys. Uh, that's, that's the ticket. You got to align with, with the real you, right? And whatever, <clears throat> whatever it takes to, to figure that out, right? And like Erlinda just said, uh, you, you got to give up the, the, um, the not knowing. Just give it up, right? And, and for some people, that may mean just picking something that you're remotely interested in, right? Uh, uh, for me personally, the last thing I ever thought that I was, that I would want was to start a family. Just, but then found myself in a moment of self-reflection and I was like, wow. I, and, and then I just, like, I gave up the, the facade of bachelorhood and all that stuff. Right. Um, and stuff just start clicking. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, pay, so so pay attention to the to the things that you're drawn to, and pay attention to the things that you're good at, right? The things that you lose yourself in, whether it's drawing, whether it's writing poetry, whether it's uh, knitting scarves, or embroidering owls on t-shirts or something. I don't know. Whatever it is, uh, uh, whatever you lose yourself in that's probably what you're most drawn to and your heart is the most powerful muscle in your body do what it says right that's a little bit of a metaphor but but really that that desire that calling is the tr that's the that pay attention to it and and whatever there is to give up between that and whatever's stopping you from pursuing it just just let it go um, <clears throat> also take a stand for the and, right? <laughs> uh, you know, you, you, you don't have to sacrifice one thing to get another thing. You can have everything. There's, there's enough abundance in the universe for us to have everything that we want. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can have the big fancy career and be a great mom mm -hmm. or dad. Right. You can be a, a good, a good Christian, right? Cause we hear that term or spiritual, right? But, but uh, yeah, so you can be a good spiritual person, be a Christian, Jewish, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, whatever. Right. And make tons of money. They're not mutually exclusive. All right. You can be spiritual and wealthy. You can have lots of money and be spiritual, right? Like we did, what, four or five weeks ago? 
we decriminalized money and mm-hmm. rich people, right? You can travel the world like someone else on this call and run your own business, right? They're not mutually exclusive. You can be at your desired weight and eat chicken wings. I haven't figured out that one yet, but I'm working on that one. <laughs> that's, that's, the whole, that's the whole calories in versus calories out. <laughs> Exercise thing that, right? Um, case in point, uh, uh, I, I have about, from right now, from today, I have about 20 more pounds to lose. Okay. Now I know that I exercise regularly, right? This morning I had two donuts at fire cake, which (laughs) to die for anyway, had two donuts and then, uh, got home. The sun is shining, right? Erlin is in New York. It's, it's sunny here in Chicago. It's like 50 degrees. I was like, man, I got to go out and enjoy the day. Totally did not plan it. Went for a 12 mile bike ride, burned off 900 calories. Okay. So I got to eat my donuts and I got to, you know, like not feel guilty about it. Why? Cause I did whatever I had to do to have both. Mm. I got and right. So, so in a, a final example, you can get a timeshare, <clears throat> excuse me, you can get a timeshare in, I don't know, Cabo San Lucas, and you can save for retirement. Mm. They're not mutually exclusive. That may mean that you make more money. You Mm. find a way to make more money, or you find a way to get out of your way from money flowing to you, Mm. right? So really guys, start to focus on and. Anytime you hear yourself start to think or say but, or however, right? Replace it with and, replace but with and, and shift your, your, your words, right? From the last chapter, your words create your world, right? So shut up even more, watch what you're saying, watch what you're thinking, Mm. and catch that but, change it to and, and see what happens. Mm. That's great. It's great. So you guys just take a minute and um, just, just kind of get present to and just write some things that like tapping into your heart. Like maybe you want a family or maybe, you know, just start to look, start to write some stuff down for yourself. Like what is it as possibilities? Like you don't have to know all the answers. Okay. You don't have to know all the answers. Just kind of explore and you might be good and it's getting a little loud. So I apologize you guys. Um, It's, it might be, it might be an exploration for you. Like, oh my gosh, like a redesigning of who you are. Like maybe your life has been on one trajectory and all of a sudden is a new trajectory. Or maybe you're ready finally to open your heart up to the love of your dreams, right? Maybe just start to look and start to explore what is actually possible for you. What, what could be the hollering of your heart? So just take a minute. Just like 30 seconds and, and, and get present to that. So, uh, okay. I want you guys to just write down below. I want you to just, I want you guys to interact a little bit, okay? I know there's um, some people on here. Just Just tell me what your experience is of the book club right up until now. Are you dealing with stuff? Are you confronting with stuff? Are you, just tell me what's going on, okay? I wanna know because I wanna know what's what's opening up for you and if there's any breakdown. So just share if there's anything you can share here. Um, And then I wanna go on to the next little aspect of it, okay? Because I want us to take some time to kind of just write some things down. So any questions are a good thing to ask right now too. James, why are you looking at me like that? I'm I'm just I'm digging the shades, man. <laughs> You're making me self-conscious. <laughs> you, you look like you look like Tom Cruise. You, you you look like the 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 remake of Top Gun is about to come out. 
you guys okay so really write down some things that are i want to know what's opening up for you okay why are you doing this why are you on each week with us are you looking to redefine your career are you you know just just share some of the things so that we can get some feedback here i want to know like can you actually start to see the mindset shifting for yourself are you seeing that shift are you starting to notice those disempowering conversations or those limiting beliefs? No one wants to interact. I feel so alone, James. Will you interact with me? Are you starting I, to notice the? <laughs> I mean, this so 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 that you guys are aware, right? Um, I know that for most people on the on the following the the video, right? Uh, this might be your first time through the book. This is probably about my. 12th or 13th time through the book, right? And every time, right, every week we get to do this, I'm back in the book, right? And um, not not because I'm overzealous, but <laughs> it, <laughs> although, uh, but, but because you know, it, it takes something to deliver the content, like what Erlinda and I are doing, um, and so we really have to embody what it is that we're that we're talking about with you. We're, we really have to dive in and, and get both feet in the deep end to to be able to deliver everything the way that we are. Um, and so so we really really encourage you to take that same kind of approach. You don't have to go through the book twelve times, right? <laughs> but but. Uh, but really dig into it with that same kind of intensity that will get you the kind of results that, that you came here to get. Because without it, you're, you're just kind of passively participating. And, that, and you, what's likely is that you probably won't get the desired result, right? So we want you to get the desired result, uh, right? We don't get a toaster for it or anything. But but the whole reason we created this book club was to create community and and uh, you know like I want to have a lot of money I want to have a great family right yeah yeah and I don't want to I'm not going to be around anybody uh, uh, that I feel guilty for having that stuff right like I'm not going to feel guilty around anybody for having the things that I have. Yeah. And if I do, I'm going to choose to not be around them. And I would rather not choose to not be around people. Right? Yeah. I would rather be inclusive of everyone than exclude people because they feel a certain way about what I have or what they have or don't. Yeah. Right? So that's what's going on. So yeah. thank you guys for your comments. Uh, we've got, let's see, uh, Rebecca, Coming aware of my words and my thoughts. That's excellent. The limiting but, beliefs and blocks to receiving. Also noticing what others are saying and the words they're using. Oh, excellent. Yes, yes. How about an air fryer? Sure, I'll take an air fryer. <laughs> Just I don't even know what that is. An air fryer? Oh, you should, Rebecca can let us know later. But you guys, I want to I wanna say something really quick, okay, because she talks about this in the book. She says, if you want to make the kind of money that you've never made before, you're going to have to do a whole lot of stuff that you have never done before, which will scare and challenge and excite the crap out of you. <laughs> right? It's like that whole thing of like doing something different to get a different result, right? Like literally, like I remember there's, I've been to Utah this year in January and I went to Santa Fe in February and now I'm going to Prague in March, right? That's like the most travel I've done in a, in a while. And I remember when I went to Utah, I like had like, you know, I, I don't really travel by myself. I travel with friends or groups of people. It's like all this anxiety, right? Like, like panic. I had to call my girlfriend and this, you just things, you've got to know that you're on the edge. You're living life when you have all that stuff come up. Okay. We're creating a whole new conversation for ourselves and others. Right. And, and we're creating a community to, to really, to, if you want to make the kind of money you've never, ever made before, 
you're going to have to do a whole lot of stuff that you're not maybe that you haven't done before that will scare you scare the crap out of you all that stuff okay so you're going to want to be really fired up about getting rich and very clear about your why and why that's important to you okay clear yeah it's like you got to get really fired up like you know what there's times that i do not want to deal with this like literally i'm like right <laughs> and i think like to myself and, and i remember when i created a vibe of the planet and i was like that is insane like what what that's crazy that's the dumbest thing i've ever even you know that was one of my dumb ideas <laughs> like right um but i want to tell you something when it comes to my clients or like i could be in bed watching netflix like you know, like some of us can all day long or few, for many hours. And I have a session that pops up on my calendar. I might resist for like a moment, but I literally pop out of myself and like literally go be of service, right? Um, inside of my commitment to vibe up the planet and, and you guys providing your listening and you guys being there in the gratitude of it, right? So that's what I'm saying. Get connected to your heart, like what is it that speaks to your heart you guys okay and start to get really honest with yourself speaking of honest real quick and and i i um rebecca thank you for for the listening and integrity that you're bringing uh and and leslie Prague will probably be in your future so um speaking to getting specific right and like her Linda shared earlier with her list of with the with the guy <clears throat> i i did my own list um around the same time that uh that Erlinda first introduced me to uh to the essential oils and to vibing up and and all the energy work right and um I, I hadn't, I, this was laying on a coffee table uh, until about, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. And I just, I had done it. It was back in December of 2016. I did this list. And, uh, and then I got clear that I wanted a family. Um, and then I met someone. And I found this list and I'm looking at it right when I'm cleaning, as I'm, as I'm cleaning my whole place before I have her over for dinner, I, I find this list and I'm going down it and I'm thinking, oh my God, this, she literally is, it meets every one of these things on this list, every single one. And you guys, when, when you get this specific, like Anna just did, uh, when what you desire shows up, when you, when, when you actualize it, you may have to sort yourself out a little bit, right? Like, like, cause that's when, you know, it's one thing to, to put something down on paper. It's one thing to state a desire. And then when it shows up in front of you, yeah, you, open wide right like open. i i gotta move back so that my arms get in the right <laughs> so uh but yeah open wide and then you know you may have to adjust some of your some of your internal ways of being and ways of thinking right like rebecca is, is uh on to right and and you might pay attention to different things finding finding someone that meets everything on this list that I created. Uh, she keeps she, me trued up, right? Like yeah. I have to, like for, for me to be with the woman that I want, I have to be the man that, the, for me to be with the woman of my dreams, I have to be the man of my dreams. And when I'm not, guess what? Things don't go right. <laughs> There's yeah. discord or whatever right there's 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 discomfort there's disease there's all the you know there's a little bit of a little bit of words being exchanged and uh and and the energy doesn't feel good right so mm -hmm. <clears throat> um open wide open wide let let it in 
envision your life like James did, all the specifics you can muster up, right? Get all the emotional and excitement and take inspired action. And then this is one of the most important ingredients that people don't tell you about. That was on a coffee table two years ago, right? His, his list, you want to hand the rest of it and hand it over to the universe, AKA surrender, surrender. Okay. So it's getting all the details out that you can mustard and mustard, <laughs> muster, and then, <laughs> and then delivering it to the universe. Like, here's my request universe. And it, it didn't like happen overnight for James. It's two years. It's starting to get created. And, and, and some of the things might've changed a little bit and some of the, and he's growing as the, the, man that he is and the and the desires are changing and growing and and just like i was saying for myself like the the physical like the the languaging the the experience of myself is changing and transforming and and when you saw that list james you probably had the same experience of like wow i like it's wow how do we open wide and start to allow all of that. And how good can we stand it, right? Like how good and how great and how abundant can we have our life be, right? And when I, I wanna get small and be like, oh, I don't know, like why are we doing book club la, 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 or whatever we have, all that little prince and all that monkey mind, all that stuff, right? Like it's people like James and all of you guys who are here watching us exercising that muscle weekly. And, and you guys, I want you to know something, yeah. People are getting results out of this book club. They're not sharing all of it. People are being shy about sharing the results, but it's probably because we are more you know, committed to sharing our problems. We feel more comfortable sharing our problems and our successes, okay? But we're gonna keep, keep nurturing this community, keep giving space for people to have amazing, amazing results. And they are, so just so you know, they are. But James, anything that you wanted to say about like the becomingness, right? Because it's like, it's a I don't know how to explain it because I'm walking through it now as we go through this book club together. It's like a amazing yeah. thing. Yeah, and and I'm right there with you. It's it's an it's I I'm not going to use the analogy of peeling the onion, uh, though it's entirely appropriate, um, and uh, and it's, it's a continual discovery of myself and what I'm committed to every day. And what I'm noticing is that there is, there is always a conscious choice to be made in every moment of every day, right? Um, I'll use my diet, for example, because... <laughs> Like what's on my list, uh, this, this particular woman is very athletic and it's bringing up all sorts of stuff for me, right? In terms of like, wow, well, I guess eating chocolate chip cookies and ice cream for breakfast won't suffice. Or carrot cake or two carrot cakes. <laughs> right. Or however many carrot cakes I had over the, uh, over the winter, right? Or, you know, green, green cupcakes, the St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Um, it like some things just won't cut it anymore. And it's like, do I want my cookies or my donuts from this morning, right? Without the, the bike ride to burn them off? Or do I want to get myself in a position where I can be a partner to her that she desires as well? Right. So, and, and right. That, that has never been an issue and it's, I'm aware of it. Right. Because when you're doing what she does, you know, there are guys who look a little bit, you know, more fit. And so it's, you know, you start to think, okay, well, well maybe I need to, it's motivation. Right. It's all motivation. Um, and it's not, you know, she, that may not be important to her and that's fine, but I'm finding out that it's important to me and that's what matters. Yeah. You're becoming a new person, somebody who would even, you know, and I don't think you, 
eat chocolate cookies for breakfast or anything like that for real. But, but I think that it's like this becoming, right? Someone that that's called to be able to be someone who can hold that amount of money. You know, one of the things Jen Sincero says, um, and James, you probably can quote the actual quote, but it's about, um, we don't need more rich assholes out there. You know, we need more people like just authentic out there living their life, like really living your dreams because you not living your dreams and having the resources and the money doesn't fulfill anything. I mean, really, it doesn't. So like grab it and become who you've always intended to be or desired to be, right? Whatever that hollering of the heart was. And one of the things that we didn't really talk about in here because she kind of mentioned it a little bit, right? Take inspired action. Take inspired action. You know, James had to go on a date you know, to meet somebody like you just kind of do that. Right. I actually had to get online and pay off a credit card. Like I had to, there's actions, right. But that means I had to stop taking lift like everywhere, or I had to cut back my Starbucks, right. Or whatever it is, or, you know, generate more income. So it's not just about like, Oh, this feels so good. And this is my purpose. And I'm going to now everything's going to flow to me. It's about taking the inspired action. And cons this is, I'm adding this, but it's like the consistent inspired action, yeah. building the community around you to support you when you don't want to take the consistent, uh, consistent inspired action. So right. that's really important. You guys. Right. So like, do the work in this book even if you're just listening to us like look for yourself in your own mind where are your limiting beliefs what's the hollering of your heart okay start to bring and pull this to you because james and i we're pulling it to ourselves we can't you know just have you get it because you're on here you have to look in your own life okay i wish it could oh i think i can take off my sunglasses now i wish we could right I wish I could just like impart it on and like, here you go, but I can't. You guys have to pull this conversation to you. You have to exercise the muscle. Yep, yep. So whatever it is, um, get specific with what you want, put it, write it down, right? You know, <clears throat> whether it's on a cocktail napkin, a sticky note, or, you know, a notebook, put it, put it, in existence, write it down, state it clearly, be laser specific. Um, there are things on that list that I will not ever share with anyone. Uh, <laughs> right? That's how specific I got. Yes. Um, and voila. You know, it took it took two years or it took a, a year and a half, let's let's call it. Um, took a year and a half for what got put on that list to be actualized uh and what 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 really happened was it took me that long to get out of my own way about it because i was i was all sorts of no to a whole bunch of stuff and as soon as i had stopped being a no to that stuff it showed up including now the that, get rich book club you were a no to <laughs> I, I was initially a no, and and now look at me. I'm I'm like, I'm wearing shamrocks and stuff all over the internet. <laughs> but Why but uh, off, yeah, because we have two minutes. Yeah. So, uh, real quick, if you're if you're in the I don't know camp with anything about what your specific desire, is, get in the book, read the chapter, right? Get like get focused on it, and just you know get in tune with it. Um, we want to take a moment uh, to express our gratitude. Okay, really thank you to our entire team. You guys are amazing. You put in all sorts of time and energy that, that you don't have to, right? You're here for something that's beyond yourself, right? You're doing, you're, you're making a great contribution Thank you to each of you out there for for joining us on a journey to impact your life. Um, so the, the 
we also want to go over the money mantra real quick. Are you ready? Yeah. You sure? Write it below if you want, you guys. Write it below. Write the money mantra for chapter five below, you guys. I love money because I love living an awesome life. I love money because I love living an awesome life. And take notice of all the resistance that comes up when you think that for yourself or when even James said it. It's kind of like, whoa. Okay. Which so is why I said it the way I said it. Because <laughs> okay. I'm not going to let you get in my way of living an awesome life. <laughs> oh, amazing. I have a bonus assignment, you guys. Um, this is something James, you know, James always loves holding up his $100 bill, right? What? <laughs> I suggest the what? bonus assignment. <laughs> this is just a bonus assignment that, <laughs> James, Sorry. this is the bonus assignment, you guys. Get $100 bills, carry a hundred, $100 bill in your wallet, okay? <laughs> so if you can't start with 100, start with 50, start with 20, do whatever you can. Start with it and don't use it. Keep it in your wallet, okay? So you can start to feel the energy of it. You would have the experience of like, oh, yeah, I can buy that. Oh, yeah, I could buy that if I wanted to. Oh, yeah, I could buy that. I could do that. I can do that, right? Don't spend it. Just carry it with you. So you start to elevate the um, frequency around you. So that's the bonus assignment. Feel free to take it or not. Um, I know it's made a difference for me and James as he likes to show off his, right? Um, do what, do whatever amount you can start with and, and then keep adding to it, okay? And make it a fun game. So that is it. Anything uh -oh. else? Wanna... Did we lose oh. it, Linda? I'm right here. Can you hear me? No? No? It took me, or Linda, you're cutting out, but it took me a little while to work up to 100. Right, I started out with tens and then twenties and then fifties. Right, a hundred dollar bill. So, work your way up. So, Erlinda, your, your video cut out, and I just kind of picked Good. up. Yeah. I just want to send my love to you guys. Um, we'll see you next week. James might start the conversation without me for a little bit, or might we might have a guest on, we're not sure yet. <laughs> so, please support James next week. Um, and um, I'm hoping to be on, fingers crossed. Uh, I'll just profound gratitude, you guys, okay? Thank you so much, and thanks for this journey. Let's keep exercising the muscle. All right, talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.